Hello everyone and thank you for joining Azuqua's weekly tips and tricks webinars. I'm Claire Machado, one of the customer success managers here at Azuqua, and today we're going to be talking all about the HubSpot channel. And the reason for this is because we just released a bunch of new functionality to that channel that really enables you to build a lot more scenarios. One of the scenarios I think you're going to be most excited about is that you can now track HubSpot email events in your CRM. So if an email bounces, if it's sent, if a customer clicks a link, things like that, all of that can then go to that customer's profile in Salesforce or any other CRM. So that's what we're going to discuss today. And I'm first going to start out by showing you what we've done with HubSpot. So here in our Azuqua dashboard, I'm going to click on New Flow. And if you've ever looked at the HubSpot channel before, you'll notice a lot more actions, or sorry, events are in the HubSpot channel. So um, we used to only deal with contacts. You can now, as I said before, monitor email events and anything within HubSpot's free CRM. So you can monitor new companies, new deals, and updates to companies' deals and contacts as well. And then of course, um, an old monitor is contacts added to a list. Some of the actions that we've added also have to deal with HubSpot's new CRM, which are the companies and deal actions. So you can see that we can create new ones, um, delete, update, read, um, and search. So those are just really, really helpful actions and quite a few that we've added. Something else that's really exciting is we've added a lot of new date and time functionality, which we've covered in a previous tips and tricks webinar, um, but it's really important for HubSpot because HubSpot ex accepts a certain um, timestamp type, and that type is Unix in milliseconds. So now you can use this convert from ISO, which is what normal APIs give us, such as Salesforce. Um, you can actually convert it to a timestamp that HubSpot expects um, which is that Unix in milliseconds. So lots of exciting things happening to the HubSpot channel. And if you're a HubSpot user, this is definitely something that I think you'll find really valuable. Um, um, and new flow and actually build that scenario that I told you about regarding monitoring for new email events. So we're first gonna find the HubSpot channel and we're gonna choose monitor email events. Now I already have a configuration loaded into my organization here for HubSpot. So I'm just gonna select that configuration. And let's say that for this scenario, we want to know if an email bounces. So we're gonna choose that event type bounce. Now you'll notice we get a couple fields out of that event type. Um, if there is a field that you don't see, let us know because this is actually something that we pared down so you didn't get everything. Um, but the big one you'll want is this recipient in order to look up in your CRM. So for now, I'm going to use Salesforce CRM. And I'm first going to search for that recipient. Um, let's make sure we have the right config here. I'm going to search for that recipient to see if they're contact in my CRM because I don't want to add something to a contact that doesn't exist. And that recipient field is actually giving us an email address. So that's what I'm going to search for here. And we'll want to output the ID of that contact record. So recipient, again, is the email address. We're going to search for that. And like I said, we only want to continue through the flow if that ID exists. Or in other words, if it doesn't equal blank. <clears throat> so again, monitoring for bounced emails searching in Salesforce, and if they do exist in Salesforce, we want to add an activity to that contact. So we're gonna choose, let's say, task here all the way at the bottom. We're gonna choose a task, and this task is going to be for the account owner to follow up with that user and make sure that they still have a good email address for them, um, because we wanna make sure that they're getting our marketing communications um, as well as billing information or anything that they might need. So as you can see, there are a lot of fields that we can fill out for this task. Um, the first one is the who ID, and that who ID is that recipient there. And from the search, we already have that ID and we can drag it in. For a subject, we may want to say um, email bounced in HubSpot. 
And we can add more descriptions here. So we can go and add concatenate, which combines a lot of fields for us. And um, let's say we really care what campaign ID it was on. So HubSpot campaign, we can drag the ID into that string too. And that's the description for our task here. Now, for owner ID, we're going to want to make sure it's the owner of that contact. So we can read that contact within Salesforce. Drag that ID over. And all we need is the owner ID right there. Now, there are a couple things to note about creating a task or activity or any similar thing within Salesforce is that these status, priority, and some other fields are required, but they also require a certain ID. Um, status, for example, may be new because we just submitted the task, but Salesforce actually expects an ID for what new is. So how we can manage that is we're going to search for the ID of that status type. And how we do this is simply by choosing a pick list. Um, in this case, it is something that we've enabled within our Salesforce instance to be able to find this kind of information. And we want the name of that status field. And we're going to output an ID here. So the name is new, and that's the status type that we want in there. And the ID is what Salesforce expects. Something else we can add in here is an activity date. Um, again, HubSpot gives us um, a uh, ISO, or sorry, milliseconds timestamp, but we want ISO, so we can simply convert. So first of all, I'm going to convert that timestamp to ISO here, and the timestamp is here on our monitor email event. And it's going to output the correct ISO time that Salesforce expects for our activity date. So now that we've filled out all the task fields that we care about, we can then save the flow here. And your flow is ready to go. Now this may seem like a fairly complicated flow. There are definitely a lot of steps in here. But as you can see, we were able to set that up in under five minutes, and it's going to give your sales team and your customer success team really good information regarding what's happening on a customer's profile within HubSpot, um, and also give you a chance to find the best email addresses for them if um, emails are bouncing in HubSpot. So just a really good way for you to utilize some of the new events and actions that we just have opened up in HubSpot. If there are more that you'd like us to add, definitely get in touch. You can chat with us with this intercom button here or email support at azuqua.com. Again, thank you so much, and we will see you next time.